In Photoshop, you can create a fiber effect very quickly via the fiber filter, but there's no equivalent in Affinity Photo, but you can create something very similar to it using this approach. So first thing to do, let's just create a layer. So layer and new layer. Then go up to filters, then go down to noise and pearl in noise. And of course you can set all kinds of different settings. I've got here four, 33 and 12.2, but you can vary it, just change it subtly. Maybe zoom, you can change it like that. I want about there, so you've got fairly chunky visible noise there. Normal and click apply. Once you've done that, you want to blur it. Now you could just use Gaussian blur, that's not going to be particularly effective. What you need to do is go to filters, blur and motion blur. So motion blur, and in motion blur, set it to 100, 200, but 100 I think is fairly reasonable, and set the rotation at 90. So it's going straight down like the usual fiber filter. And then click apply. Now you'll notice in this, the colors I've got over here, black and white. Now if you vary that, you can actually get different color sets. So I'll show you that later. So once you've done that, what you need to then do is go to filters and down to colors and auto levels. So it's looking a bit closer to the fiber filter. Final step, just go here to filters and distort and go down to fine. So fine, and you can get and go to here and you can set the scale X, just set it to say something like 20. So 20 and set the wrap I've got there. You can set it to mirror or set it to just wrap, up to you. And then click apply. And there you have it, quick fiber filter effect. Now I've gone for black and white, but you can simply just go over here and you can double click on that and change the colors maybe to red, blue, green, etc. So I'm gonna go for red and blue. So layer and new layer, always need a layer. Then go to filters and then down to noise and Perlin noise. And you can change the settings. You can maybe go for 39 or maybe go for something a bit bigger, 40, 43 or something like that. Normal, octaves of four, click apply. Then go to filters and then go down here to blur and motion blur. Motion blur, you can just modify the settings. You don't have to go for 100. You might decide, you know what, let's just go for 75 instead and 90, hardly any difference to be honest, and then click apply. Now, if you go here to filters and colors and auto levels, you get that effect, which you may or may not want. It's slightly different from there. But once you've got that, you can do exactly the same as before. Filters, go down here to distort and down to fine. And with that, you can vary the settings. You don't have to go for 20, maybe go for 10, just try it. You can see then you get obviously very thin, or maybe go for 30. So just vary it just to find out. Maybe decide the scale here, set that to 200 instead, or maybe 175 or something, and then click apply. And there you have blue and red fiber filter effect in Affinity Photo. As a bonus effect, what you can do, you've got this pixel layer, simply go over to layer and down to duplicate. And then you can just reposition it, resize it slightly. With those two layers now, you can just go here and go to layers and blending, and maybe go with darken, multiply, color burn, and lighten, and so on, to create even more unique fiber effects in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.